Hi students and welcome back to Computer Practice with Mr. H. And in this episode, which is episode 5, we're going to start with spreadsheets. So there's quite a few questions here that needs attention and there's a lot of ground to cover. So we will be splitting up this question into multiple videos. We're going to start now with our first one. So the first question is retrieve a spreadsheet for fees. Change the font size to aerial size 10, change it to landscape, and then make the following changes based on the screenshot. So let's go ahead and open up fees to your student folder. You're going to open up fees. Then you're going to press Ctrl and A on your keyboard, the letter A. Keep both keys in at the same time. And then you're going to change the font to Arial. And you're going to change the size to 10. You are also going to go to page layout, orientation. You're going to change the orientation to landscape. And then we're going to go back to our question. Make the changes as indicated below. All right, so there's quite a few things that needs to happen now. We're going to have to insert a heading. It needs to be Berlin Sands, Demi, Demi, size 18, margin center, then that row in row one, cross column to A to I. We're going to have to insert a picture and size the picture. We have to insert an open row. We have to insert headings. We need to vertically and center align all the text. We need to insert text. We need, and that must be uppercase, so over here and over here. And then what's left is in our formulas. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to go back to my, my spreadsheet. The first row, I'm going to merge and center across A, column A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. I'm going to click on Home. Emergency. Right. Then I'm going to just quickly go back to my question paper. What needs to be done is need to change and you type in the properties today and the font must be Berlin Sands if you demo size it. Right, so it must be capitalized as well. Berlin, sorry, properties today. the size to I'm just going to type it in there Berlin Sands if we demi press enter the size I'm going to change to size 80 if you want to make it look exactly like the example you can change the color to, to red but that was not an instruction so you're not going to get any marks for changing to red it wasn't asked but if you want to like me that likes to copy as I see you can do that all right so insert an open row and text in uppercase so estimated cost quarterly sales all right let's see so this text they want you to change it to uppercase and they also want you to change to insert an open row all right so let's see there's an open row um, row two was an open row and row four is an open row let's see so over here, row 2 is for the an open row, but row 4 isn't. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just insert an open row. I'm going to select, I'm going to put my cursor on top of 4, so that the cursor can change into an arrow pointing to the right. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to right click on my mouse, and I'm just going to say, click on insert. Okay, I've just inserted an open row. delete the row, you will do the same thing. You insert it, you right click and insert it. Right, so insert it in open row, so there's my open row 2 and 4. And I'm going to change this to capital letters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and sell A, A, A3, which gets where the word starts. Estimated cost for the sales. And in my formula bar, I'm going to type in the equals. bracket, close bracket, and whenever we are using words inside of a formula, we have to put those words into inverted commas. So just behind my first bracket, I'm going to insert an inverted comma. Slight delay. All 
right, so equals upper, do you want to change text to uppercase? So that's what you would do, you can then put the words inside of the brackets in inverted commas, you can press enter if you want to, to activate it and then change to, to capital letters. What if they wanted you to change words to lowercase? So instead of upper, you would then use lower. Simple as that. Same concept. Right. And in this case, we change it to done. Alright, next question. Let's go and insert the words that we see. I'm just going to quickly copy this screenshot into my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So that I can use more easily see the words than the first two. Alright, so the first one here. Next to sales price, we can type the lady profit. Activators. Next to deposit, I'm going to type in the price scale. Next to price scale, percentage transfer rate. Next to that, flat rate. Next to that, it's going to be total. Transfer duties and then next to that in cell I or column I I'm going to type in top to Alright, but so what's going on? Well, you need to wrap your text. In order for your text to look like this, you need to wrap your text. So to do that, you click on a cell and you click on wrap your text under home. Text and then you make your column either bigger or smaller so that you can jump into the board so you can convert into the correct um, cell just the way you want it to be. Transfer rate, wrap text, and then slide make your make your column either slightly bigger or smaller so that it can look exactly like it's supposed to look like. Flat rate, wrap text. Transfer duties, text, there you go, total. You don't have to wrap your text, but you must put it so that it can hang in the middle of it. Deposit and total kind of hangs in the middle of the cell. So for the, to get it like that, you have to click on your cell and then you go to home and do the alignment group. You click on the launcher. And under alignment, you just make sure that you are horizontally synced with the text and vertically synced with the text. Right, that's what you would do in that case. Alternatively, you could also just have gone to home and if, instead of clicking on the launcher, you just click on, you see these, this one is clearly on top. So the next quest, the next few things we need to do, we need to go and type in the text over here, and it's in 17 and 18. So 17, we're going to type in the second, second largest. that smallest sales price. Alright. Alright, so the next few words that we need to go type in is employee of the month. And we're going to start in column if. Alright, column if row 18. So column if row 18. So there we go. And we need to type in there. Employee of the month. Right. 
So let's see. That's basically it that we have to go and insert. Oh, I forgot about the picture. Now let's quickly go and insert. Okay, so let's go and insert the picture. And for that, we need to go and first check our question paper again. What is the instructions of our question paper? And based on our question paper, it says that you have to go and insert the picture saved as a state, as indicated above. Which is that one. Ensure that the size of the picture is 2.54,54 in width and in height. Insert a dotted line, now it puts dashes around the picture and the weight is between the and the Alright, so first we're going to go and insert our picture. We're going to click on insert and we're going to go to picture icon so that you can go and open up your, your student folder, which is common drive or maybe you've saved it or when you've instructed to find it. I'm going to go into my student folder over here. There's a state. I'm going to insert it. Right, it's quite big because I haven't resized it. So to resize a picture students, all that you have to do is you click on your picture. Well before you click on your picture you'll notice you have file you have the following tabs, but the moment that you click on a picture, you will notice you now have a picture tools and a format tab available, specifically to do with a picture. So if you click on format, you go to your far right, under size, you go into the, the size launcher or the group launcher. And before you do anything else, please take these two ticks away. Lock, lock aspect ratio and go to original picture size. Take those two ticks away. Only once they are removed, then you can change your size. Then you change it to 2,54 in height and 2,54 in width. Alright, done. And then you can just click back. You've noticed that your picture is then resized and you can move it to the more or less the correct spot where it's supposed to be. Then it fits. Now let's go and insert the frame around the picture and remember the frame must be two and a quarters. Now the decimals two and a quarters is two comma two five. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our picture and we're going to click on our format tab again. But this time under picture styles we're going to go into the picture so we can get the format picture pane again. We're going to click on our bucket and under bucket you can see fold and line and you're going to select lines so you may have line options first of all there's no line at the moment you want a line there right and then you're going to make changes to the line the width of this line you want to change it to two comma two five that's equivalent of two and a quarter right so two comma two five points and the dash type going to change to two dashes. There's quite a few different options, but choose the most familiar one. Like that. And then you're done. All right, so then you're done and then you can exit. Okay. Let's go back to our questions. Or let's go back to our screenshot. We've inserted our picture, we've done our heading, we've done this, we've inserted all the text and uppercase. So that the headings we vertically centered a line pane, all the text have been inserted. So all that's now left is the formulas and the borders. So join me in the next video where I will be quickly be inserting the borders and then we're going to start to